In this instructional snippet we will be using Bernoulli's equation to determine when a siphon will fail to operate. We will be solving the same problem using two different approaches, however, both approaches will use Bernoulli's equation. Let's review the prerequisites to get the most out of this instructional snippet. Bernoulli's equation, including the restrictions on its use. Let's review the four restrictions to use this version of Bernoulli's equation. 1. Steady state. 2. Incompressible. 3. Negligible viscous effects. 4. Applied along a streamline. We will also be making standard assumptions in the application of Bernoulli's equation. These were covered in a previous instructional snippet. The velocity in a large diameter tank is treated as equal to zero. The pressure of a free jet is equal to its surroundings, usually atmosphere. The velocity of a free jet to atmosphere from a tank open to atmosphere is equal to the square root of 2 times the acceleration of gravity times the depth or distance between the free surface of the tank and the free jet. We will also be using the law of conservation of mass, often referred to as the continuity equation. In this example it will be for steady state flow in a pipe. The continuity equation is the product rho VA is constant. This is the problem statement and the corresponding drawing. A large tank has a constant diameter siphon installed. Its inlet is L4 feet from the bottom of the tank. Its outlet is L3 feet below the bottom of the tank. For a depth of water of L1 in feet, what is the maximum value for H in feet that the siphon will operate? Please note that the datum is selected as the bottom of the tank. Also note that we will be using the English engineering system of units. English, who needs that? I'm never going to England. Let's identify some potential points for the application of Bernoulli's equation. Recall, we are trying to find the maximum value of H for which the siphon will operate. Let, point 1 be the free surface in the tank. Point 2, be the high point of the siphon pipe. We know that the point of highest elevation will be at the lowest pressure. This will be key in solving this problem. Point 3 is the free jet discharging to atmosphere from the siphon pipe. Point 4 is the inlet to the siphon pipe. Let's build a table of what we know from the given data and standard assumptions in the application of Bernoulli's equation. For each point we want to list the pressure, velocity, and the elevation from the datum. For point 1, its pressure is atmospheric since it is a free surface, its velocity is zero since it is a large tank, its elevation is given as L1. For point 2, its pressure is unknown, its velocity is unknown, its elevation is given as H, which is what we are trying to determine. For point 3, its pressure is atmospheric since it is a free jet, its velocity unknown, its elevation is given as L3. Note that it is below the chosen datum. 4.4, its pressure is due to its depth below point 1, its velocity is zero since it is a large tank, its elevation is given as L4. Before we move on, what phenomenon will cause the siphon action to break down? The answer is that if the pressure reaches vapor pressure then a vapor cavity will form and the siphon will not operate. We will set the pressure at 2 to the vapor pressure. Let's apply Bernoulli's equation from point 1 to point 2. First we will apply what we know. The pressure at point 1 is atmospheric. The velocity at point 1 is 0. The elevation at point 1 is L1. The pressure at point 2 is set at the vapor pressure. The velocity at point 2 is unknown. The elevation at point 2 is H which is what we are going to determine. Simplifying. P atmosphere plus rho G L1 equals vapor pressure plus 1 half rho V2 squared plus rho G H. Solving for H. H equals the quantity atmospheric pressure minus vapor pressure, divided by rho G, minus V2 squared divided by 2, G, plus L1. V2 is still unknown but we can use the continuity equation to relate it to point 3. The continuity equation from points 2 to 3 is, rho 2, V2, A2, equals rho 3, V3, A3. Then V2 equals V3. We now apply Bernoulli's equation from point 1 to point 3. I will skip the details but they are shown here. Simplifying we get. V2 equals the square root of 2 times G times the quantity L1 minus L3. Please note this is the standard equation for velocity from a large tank where both the surface and free jet are at the same pressure. This was covered in a previous instructional snippet. We will make use of the fact that V2 equals V3. 
we have two equations and two unknowns, V2 and H, plus we'll need some additional data. Density is 62.4 pounds mass per cubic feet. Vapor pressure equals 0.256 PSIA. Atmospheric pressure equals 14.7 PSIA. L1 equals 15 feet. L3 equals minus 5 feet. The gravitational constant is equal to 32.2 pound mass foot per pound force seconds squared. Let's substitute in the data and solve for V2. Doing so we get 35.9 feet per second, which has the correct units. Now we'll substitute in this value for V2 and solve for H as shown below. After we are done we get H is equal to 28.3 feet. That was pretty quick. Let's make sure the units work out correctly. Each of the three terms should result in units of feet. The units for the third term, L1, is already in feet so we don't have to worry about that. Stepping through and cancelling the units is shown below, this is an important step but we still have other material to cover, so I won't narrate the details. Luckily, in all three terms we end up with units of feet, which is correct. Have we considered everything? Units? Check. Reasonable? Check. Is there an easier approach? Let's explore that. In the first approach we found the velocity at 3 and using conservation of mass V3 equals V2. We were not really interested in the velocity in the siphon tube, it was just required by the selected approach. Can we apply Bernoulli's equation from point 2 to point 3? What do we know? V2 equals V3 from continuity. Pressure at 2 is set at vapor pressure. Pressure at 3 is atmospheric pressure. Elevation at 2 is H, the unknown. Elevation at 3 is known. So the answer is, yes we can apply Bernoulli's equation from point 2 to point 3. This will be the second approach, which is likely the easier method. Applying Bernoulli's equation from point 2 to point 3. P2 plus rho G H plus 1 half rho V2 squared equals P3 plus rho G L3 plus 1 half rho V3 squared. Notice that the dynamic pressure terms, which are the velocity squared terms, cancel. This is why we do not need to know the velocity at 2 or 3. We solve the resulting equation for H and substitute in the known quantities. I will leave it to you to see that we get the same answer, H equals 28.3 feet. In this instructional snippet we applied Bernoulli's equation using two different approaches in a siphon example. Used English engineering units, including the use of the gravitational constant, G sub C. Used standard approach is that the velocity in a large tank is zero. The pressure of a free jet is atmospheric pressure. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.